This I love. I have it on my MG36, just to show it off, because I do not have my D-Boy AGM Full Metal MK16 Advanced Squad Carbine Airsoft AG Rifle Tan. I do not have that yet. I have to wait until April 10th. Wedding day! Um, this is the Matrix. Oh, whoa. That was the Universal Smart Charger was made by Matrix. Oh, same thing. This is the Matrix. 1x32 red, green, dot, scope. Whoa. Yeah. Red dots. Red and green, red dot, sight. For airsoft with integrated weaver, rail, and mount, and iron sight. This thing is freaking sweet. I absolutely love it. I have it really close, so when I'm looking down, my eyes real close to give me some eye relief. As you back up, seems like it's that's not the dot. Just seems like it's. Not a spectrum. I'd like to have it close. That's just personal preference. <clears throat> On top, it also has iron sights. Sorry about that, my memory card got full. Anyways, on top here, iron sights. This goes out, you get your iron sights still. Alright. Now to adjust it, you do have to take these off. And there's your up and down, your elevation. These are just to protect what lies inside. Okay. Really, I can't tell a difference, but for the red and green, there are two levels of brightness. And I'm going to show you those now. There is red. I guess you can see it a little bit. Bright. Dim, bright, dim, off, green, bright, dim, bright, dim. Yes, this is truly an amazing scope. Whenever I get my uh, new gun, I'll put this on that and put the old one back on here because this is considered a support weapon and. don't know how to do that yet. Mine didn't come with instructions. None of my stuff came with instructions. Kind of had to play with it and figure it out on your own. Uh, one thing I do like, this is metal, but it feels like they had put on like a spray-on rubber. I don't know how else to explain it, but it feels like they had like a spray-on rubber and they put it and they covered this entire thing except for the iron sights. And these, of course, because you can definitely tell a difference when you touch this to this. This feels rubbery. This feels metal, but definitely is metal all through and through. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can't figure out how to change the battery. And then I will do a little thing on that. But this right now is my MG36. All right, just kind of show you. And this comes off. What is that? Hmm. Anyways, there is nothing inside. No battery. Um, what you hear moving around is this little piece there. Um. I'm going to dig a little deeper and see if I can't find how to change the battery. But yeah, just to let you know, taking out those four screws does... Okay, I don't want to see any stupid comments. This isn't the first time I've ever owned one of these scopes. There's a wheel back here. Unscrew it. Comes off. And there's a tiny little battery right there. 
they fit down inside. I know it's kind of blurry, but I don't know how many are in there. I don't want to dump them out. <laughs> but that is the battery compartment. And that's a tiny little battery. So there you go. That's how you change the battery in this scope. Oh! Alright, so that was just a quick little update of what Eveki sent me. Awesome, awesome. I love you guys. Um, yeah, hopefully whenever D-Boys comes out with their gun, if anyone from D-Boys is watching this, I want that gun. Again, in case you forgot, it is the D-Boy AGM Full Metal MK16 Advanced Quad Carbine Airsoft AEG Rifle 10. And when, as soon as that comes, I will do another video. Bye!